And we're, yeah. guys, we're just getting some significant news in reports that Nikki Haley has called for a news conference at oh. 10 o'clock Eastern time this morning. Some reports that she may suspend her campaign. We haven't confirmed that yet at NBC News, but she will speak at 10 o'clock this morning. The expectation may be uh, that she's moving on now from this campaign. Exiting the race. Yeah. Mm. John's jump ball. Go. Okay. I'll go first. Uh, on, on, uh, <laughs> nice. oh, wow. It's rare to be Holland to the punch, yeah. right? It's rare to be Holland. Like, Ramirez like the Hobson of uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just eagerly, he's like, eagerly, well, I know. eagerly moving into If, he, if he got the ball first, I would never get it back. That's the, that's the lesson that I've learned here. First, first on, uh, on... Instead of the Hobson, we'll call you the Kobe. <laughs> well, you, you I don't like that. But yeah. the, uh, on, on Haley, yes, and the Wall Street Journal is reporting that she will not immediately endorse Donald Trump. So we mm. will see if that oh, changes in the days and weeks ahead. But yeah. she certainly... Look, she did put up a win last night. She won Vermont. She won the District of Columbia over the weekend. But she also sort of gave voice to this, this part of the Republican Party that simply doesn't doesn't want to go back to the chaos of Donald Trump, that sees that as an electoral loser. And Haley, night after night, would point to polls that suggest she would beat President Biden somewhat handily yeah. in a November race, right. at least in a snapshot of polling we see today. That's simply not the case for Trump, where that's a fit much, much closer race. Uh, and I think that she to her credit, stayed in this race and gave also a voice to these criticisms of Trump to audiences that otherwise wouldn't hear them. And I think we're seeing that reflected in some of these Republican primaries who heard Haley on Fox News, who heard Haley in conservative media, and who realized that they simply don't want to go down that path again. This was inevitable. This is Trump's party still. The GOP is not ready to turn the page on Trump just yet. But Haley did her role in exposing some of those weaknesses that Trump will have to address before November. And we can confirm now at NBC mm. News, Nikki Haley will drop out as a race during those remarks at 10 o'clock Eastern. Uh